Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some problems with your Android phone or for some reason the videos or photos are just not sending properly. Now as always this can happen for a couple of different reasons but the very first thing I've tried to go ahead and showcase to you is to understand if you're trying to send massive photos or massive videos and you don't have a good internet connection or data connection you're probably going to run into some issues anyway so the best thing you can do in this specific case is to pretty much just try to see if you can connect to a better connection in some way or form or fashion. So these things can include things like better Wi-Fi connections, better data connections, different things like that. If you're able to go ahead and make your way over to your Play Store and kind of swing around and try to load up different things like this, and you can load into them pretty fast, then you should be good to go for the most part. But if they're taking a long time, then I would recommend trying to connect to a better signal and then pretty much moving on from there. Now, for some reason that doesn't work either, the next thing I would recommend doing is to go ahead and see how big of a file or video you're sending. If you're sending a massive file or a massive video, you may want to go ahead and store those on Google Drive or something and then send people the link. So that's a very easy process along you have Google Drive installed on your device and you're logged in and everything. You may want to store them just like how I have on this specific phone on Google Drive. And then I would recommend going through and actually sending people a link to these via from Google Drive. That way you're not trying to send a massive video, you're just sending a photo or you're just sending a link which is text. So they can go ahead and access them via Google Drive. It's another really awesome fast way to go ahead and utilize that too. Now another thing is, you know, I've seen this time and time again, is if the phone number you're sending this stuff to may actually be out of date, or maybe it's not even working, or maybe that person has temporarily deleted their phone number somehow. If those things are the case, then you may want to go ahead and double check and make sure that your specific device that you're sending everything through is actually a fully functional phone number. I've seen some people just get somebody's phone number and it's actually not a real number. Maybe they typed it in wrong or something, or maybe they wrote it down wrong something. You know, I'm not trying to say somebody gave you a fake phone number and then maybe the phone number isn't real and then they go ahead and send stuff to it and it doesn't even work and most of the time you're just going to have to just kind of wait it out in my opinion. So if none of those things fix it either, the next thing I'd recommend doing is going open up your settings and you want to go ahead and update your phone. So sometimes if you click on system, then you click on system update, you'll come into a panel like this and all you have to do is go ahead and update your Android phone. And I will be honest, if at this point it's still not working, you may want to check in with your carrier, so Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and see if you even have the ability to send photos or videos or big links throughout your messaging account. Because if you can't, then you can keep trying everything in this video and it's probably not even going to work anyway. So. Those are just a couple of different ways to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.